We will be talking about cell proliferation and its regulation via p53 and Rb. The cell cycle is a tightly regulated process that controls cell growth. It occurs in four phases. This process results in an increase in cell number, which is known as cell proliferation. Cell proliferation is regulated by signals such as growth factors and signaling pathways. Phase 1 is G1. In this phase, the cell increases in size and synthesizes RNA and histones in preparation for DNA synthesis. This phase contains the G1S checkpoint, which we will talk more about later. Phase 2 is the S phase. The entire genome is replicated via DNA synthesis and DNA is proofread and repaired if damage is present. Phase 3 is G2. In this phase, there is rapid synthesis of organelles and proteins. This phase contains the G2M checkpoint. G1, G2 and S make up the interface. The final phase is M, which stands for mitosis. This is the phase in which the cell actually divides. The G1S checkpoint is particularly important in maintaining the integrity of cellular DNA. If DNA is damaged, human suppressor genes such as Rb and p53 halt the cell cycle at this checkpoint, thus preventing progression into the S phase. Retinoblastoma protein, or Rb, is one such tumor suppressor gene. Under normal cell conditions, Rb is hypophosphorylated and binds to transcription factor E2F. E2F controls transcription of a gene required for cell cycle progression. When Rb is bound to E2F, histone deacetylases are recruited. These remove acetyl groups from histones causing changes in the chromatin structure which inhibit transcription. In this way, E2F is prevented from inducing transcription when RB is bound to it, halting the cell cycle. As the cell progresses through G1, CDKs phosphorylate RB. This inactivates RB, allowing E2F to switch on cell cycle machinery. This is done by recruiting histone acetylases, which acetylate histones and causes changes in the chromatin structure. This allows DNA to be transcribed, thus allowing the cell to progress through the cell cycle. After the cell undergoes mitosis, phosphatases dephosphorylate RB, allowing it to carry on its function in the daughter cells. P53 is another important tumor suppressor gene. It activates DNA repair proteins when DNA has sustained damage, and by arresting the cell cycle at G1S, it gives DNA repair mechanisms time to repair the DNA damage before the cell continues through the cycle. However, if the DNA damage cannot be repaired, P53 initiates apoptosis, a programmed cell death. Of particular interest is its role in cell cycle arrest. Activated P53 binds to DNA and activates genes encoding for a protein called P21. P21 binds to G1S CDK complexes, inhibiting transition into the S phase. In this way, genomic integrity is preserved. But what would happen if either of these tumor suppressor genes are inactivated due to a hereditary or sporadic mutation? This change would inhibit the normal functional role of P53 and RB which results in the accumulation of DNA damage. This in turn means control over the cell cycle will be lost, leading to uncontrolled proliferation of cells. Uncontrolled cell proliferation ultimately leads to cancer.